This video will provide two examples for building display work orders for AutoSync with Trimbo Precision IQ displays, a tillage task and a planting task using a variable rate material. Log into Trimbolag software and then click the Work Orders tile. For the tillage task example, click the Add button in the upper right corner, select Trimble Display Work Order, then select Tillage from the choices. Select the field or multiple fields related to this work order, then click the OK button. Fill in the details for all of the required fields on the General tab. Task name, operation, crop zone, planned date and time, and due date. Task area and comments can optionally be included. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add vehicles. On the Vehicles tab, click the Add button in the upper right corner. Select the desired vehicle profile from the list, then click the Add button in the bottom right. The vehicle has been added. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add an implement. On the Implements tab, click the Add button in the upper right corner. Select the desired implement profile from the list, then click the Add button in the bottom right. The implement has been added to the work order. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add materials. On the Materials tab, choose the correct option for the task. For the Tillage task, we can leave the default option selected for no material needed for the work order. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add operators. On the Operators tab, click the Add button in the upper right corner. Select the desired operator name from the list, then click the Add button in the bottom right. The operator has been added to the work order. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add restrictions. On the Restrictions tab, you can add weather restrictions to the work order. Click the Add button in the upper right corner to add restrictions. Configure any desired weather restrictions – minimum or maximum temperature, minimum or maximum humidity, minimum or maximum soil temperature, maximum wind speed. Desired crop stage and comments may also be included. Click the Save button in the bottom right when finished. Any added restrictions will now be listed here. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add guidance lines. The Guidance Line tab will let you select the guidance line that should be selected for this work order. Select the desired guidance line. If no guidance lines have been synced to online yet, you can select the option to allow any operator to choose any line. Click the Save button in the bottom right corner to save the work order. The tillage work order we have saved is now listed on the Work Orders screen and ready to sync to our connected PIQ displays. The Options button on the far right edge provides actions for saved work orders. We can edit or delete the tillage task that we have just saved. Let's click the Add button to add another work order. Our next work order will be a planting task with a variable rate prescription attached. Start by selecting the fields related to this work order. We have selected Training Field 1. Click the OK button to continue. Fill in the details on the General tab. Task Name Planting, Operation Planting. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add vehicles. Click the Add button to add a vehicle. Select the desired vehicle profile, then click Add. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add an implement. On the Implements tab, click Add. For this work order, we will select the option to allow operator to choose any implement. Click the Add button. The Implement tab now indicates that any implement that matches this operation can be used. 
Click the Next button to add materials. This time for materials, we will change the option to Add Material. We will then be able to click the Add button and select the material type of seed for this example. On the Select Materials window, we do have a Create New option, but we will select the one seed that has been added to My Materials. The Seed window will open where we could configure the target rate for a flat rate application, but we want to select Variable. If we have a saved nutrient zone map for this field in Online, we can choose from the drop-down menu any zone maps that are available. We have a shape file saved for this prescription, so we will click the Import Prescription option. Click the Choose File button for each element of the shape file. The PRJ file type is optional. When finished selecting the files, click Next. Then wait for the prescription file to upload. In the Settings window, the Rate column has been selected, but we need to select Kiloseeds for the units. Then click Next. On the prescription window that appears, the zone map is previewed for us. We need to enter the lead time and off prescription behavior, and then click OK to save the prescription. The prescription and material has now been added to the work order. Click the Next button in the bottom right corner to add an operator. On the Operators tab, click Add. For this work order, we will select the option to allow any operator to complete this work order. Click the Add button. The Operators tab now indicates that anyone can complete this work order. Click the Next button to add restrictions. Restrictions are optional. We will not add any restrictions to this work order. Click the Next button to add guidance lines. Select the desired guidance line for this work order. We will select the planting line. Click the Save button to save this work order. The new planting work order is now available on the work orders screen. Notice that the options for this work order also includes the ability to download the prescription file if we need to save a copy of the shape file that is attached for any reason. We have now seen two examples for building work orders in Online. With this foundational knowledge, you can begin building work orders for your connected Precision IQ displays.